Ryan, what was uh, what was your experience like with the with the COVID situation? I was also curious. Uh, I know you were not necessarily a fan of the vaccine. I wonder if that, in your mind, helped you at all. I guess that's one theory. Is that you know it, it helps in terms of the severity? Right. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't have it too bad. You know, had um, some minor symptoms for a couple of days, and then uh, you know was able to bounce back. So thankfully, didn't hit too hard. Um, kind of went through my house. My wife got it after I did. Um, she had a little worse than I did, but overall, you know, it was a couple days and, uh, and we were able to bounce back. Do to stay sort of engaged and moving forward, even though you couldn't be out here practicing and whatnot? Yeah, so I was still on all the Zoom calls, um, our Zoom meetings, excuse me, the, the whole time. So just trying to stay engaged in the meetings, up to date mentally. And then, um, you know, after a couple of days, once I started feeling better, then, you know, I was working out and, and running and, and staying in condition and just trying to, to keep myself ready to go. So, um, you know, tough situation. Don't want to don't be missing time. Um, for an illness, but you know, if I had to get it, it wasn't terrible timing. Just kind of where it fell, and um, you know, theoretically should be good to go the rest of the season. How excited are you to get going? And part of you even curious yourself just to see how this offense can be from the from the get go. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, we have uh, starting to get all of our guys back, which is which is nice. Um, you know, had a really good start to the week on Monday, and. Um, you know, look to build on that today. Just keep building momentum as we get closer to the game. So excited about, you know, having our guys back and uh, the opportunity we have in front of us. We haven't had as, as much you. time on the field with Julio Jones, obviously, when it comes to practice. <clears throat> but I know there was mention of you working so much off the field. What are some of those things that you were able to do to kind of get on the same page for the start of the season? Yeah, like I mentioned, we, we constant communication on what I'm expecting, what I'm seeing. Uh, from in the pocket, you know, how I'm expecting him to come out of certain routes or, or the adjustments to make. Uh, and then, you know, now that we've been able to get on the field a few times, just uh, getting his body language down and uh, his speed, uh, which has been good. You know, I felt like we had a really good day get together on Monday and, like I said, continue to uh, to build on that today. Tom hasn't called live plays with anything close to a full offense. You guys do a lot of live periods and stuff. Is there some intrigue, curiosity to, to, to how that's going to go? I mean, calling plays is calling plays, right? And, you know, you uh, obviously change a little bit depending on what pieces you have and who you have out there. But I think he has a good plan um, on, on what we have available to us right now and um, ways to attack the defense. So excited about, you know, stepping, stepping into battle with him on Sunday. Culture is a word that you're kind of thrown around sometimes as a buzzword. This team has a good culture. This team has a bad culture. You all seem adamant that this is a good culture. What are some of the concrete things you see in I think our foundations of our, our program, you know, our effort and finish, how we believe in each other, um, how we focus on the details, the fundamentals, uh, concepts, uh, you know, taking care of the ball, and then, you know, not doing stuff to hurt the team. You know, it's stuff that Variable preaches every day, and um, the team has bought in. And when you have guys buying in uh, to what the program believes, and then you also believe in each other, have that faith and accountability with each other. Uh, definitely, you know, helps build momentum and, and pushes things in the right direction. What's the advantage of that? I'm creating a team, you know, not just guys working together, but you're creating an actual team. And when you have a team that is a real team and believes in each other and can count on each other, then you know, special things can happen. You also mentioned it on, with Julio, you, you spent a lot of time watching film of him, right? Cut ups to mm -hmm. kind of. So, what have you learned about him that you didn't know just from afar? As a, you know, learned about him as a receiver. I think he has a, a good ability to understand what's going on. Obviously, you don't really know that until you spend time with him, right? To understand concepts that we're trying to do, uh, how defenses have tried to play him in the past, and he'll probably see again in the future. Um, but then, just as I studied him on tape, you know, he transitions a lot better than I, I thought a, a big guy of his stature and speed would transition. You know, some of the the routes that he ran down in Atlanta the past few years, uh, the cut up that I watched. Uh, it's pretty incredible to see his transition just at his size and, and speed. So, um, you know, excited to uh, to get to work with him this year. I remember a couple of years ago, you, you talked about finding your voice as a leader when you stepped into the role that you're in now. And I'm curious how that's progressed over the last couple of years. And you look at this offseason, the vaccination decision, things like that, that are how, how much responsibility do you feel as one of the top leaders of this team? Well, it's definitely a responsibility. Uh, I know I, I welcome it, uh, I love being in the position. To, to help draw our guys closer together, to push each and every guy to, to be the best player and person he can be. Um, it's definitely a challenge, but 
it's exciting. You know, it's part of why I love playing the position is, is the challenge of it and uh, being able to, to lead guys through adversity and continue to find a way to win. Is that more so now than it used to be for you as it progressed in the last couple of years? I mean, throughout my career, right, it's, it's grown. Uh, the more experience you have, uh, the more games you, you know, football you've played, you, you know, you learn a whole lot. So that's not only on the field, but that's off the field, you know, leadership role as well. How do you work through that process where like, you have to know, like, this guy likes this ball here, another guy likes it, likes it there. You have to process that quickly. How do you work through that and be able to be, you know, effective in getting the ball where it needs to be? Yeah, I think being on the same page is where it all starts, right? Um, you know, whether it's reps that you've had on the field or, or conversations you've had in walkthrough, in meeting rooms, um, you know, where we're expecting to, uh, to throw the ball. And um, then just growing together, working together. You know, over time, you know, those things become innate and uh, you don't even have to think about it anymore. Is that something you find a kind of contrast with this core? Like one guy wanted, you know, blowing away in a situation, another one wants it high. I think our guys, you know, are of the mindset that they're going to go get it wherever I throw it. All right, and it's on me to to put it in a good location, protect them with the football, uh, put it in a good location where we have fast, big, strong, physical guys that can run after after the catch. So if I put the ball in a good spot and where they can catch it smoothly and and transition to a runner quickly, you know, we're going to create a lot of big plays. So um, that's on me. But I think those guys are of the mindset that they're going to go get it wherever it's at. What did you miss uh, playing in front of Pack Stadium last year? And looking back, I mean, whether it's home or on the road, and That's looking back, did you uh, did you miss that last season playing in the you know, stadium? Um, yeah, I definitely missed. That. You know, that's that's one of the best things about playing football is competing in front of a, a packed stadium. Um, you know, when you have the, the home side behind you and, and you feel the energy in the stadium, uh, it's special. And then you go on the road and in a rough, tough environment, and you're able to quiet the crowd and walk away with a win. You know, it's a, it's a great feeling. So I look forward to, to playing in front of fans again. You have a pretty experienced the... bunch, Ryan, on, on offense. What, what are some of the advantages of that versus having, you know, a bunch of youngsters? Yeah, I think, like I said earlier, you know, you, the, the more football you play, the more you learn. And you can kind of add into your, your mental bank, your physical bank, and and learn as as you go. So you've already crossed a bunch of those hurdles along the way. You don't have to cross them. You make new mistakes, you know. So... Um, that combined with a bunch of familiar faces who understand the way we like to play and, and what we want to accomplish, um, you know, it's definitely a, a good starting block, and it's just a matter of, of building on top of that. Ryan, heard from other quarterbacks around the league expressing any sort of envy, maybe, at the, the weapons you have at your disposal this year? No, I haven't, I haven't heard anything from other guys. Do you have any sort of like football fan mindset in terms of just being able to watch those three guys on the field together Sunday? I know, obviously, you got to do a job out there, but have you thought about that at all, just the excitement of seeing it all together in a real game? Yeah, I can't really say I'm a fan of, uh, of, of watching while I'm doing it. You know, it's a, there's a mission to be accomplished. You got to go out there and, and take care of my job and, um, you know, let those guys do their job. So um, that's pretty much my focus is, is just going out and doing my job to the best of my ability and leading this team to a win. Just though, to see what you all can do together now that you're finally, you know, it's, it's game week, game one on Sunday? Yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's, it's a big opportunity. We're finally, like I said, getting everyone back out there and, um, you know, a lot of opportunity in front of us. It's just a matter of, of making it happen. Ryan, you have an idea at this point of uh, how much the field will help AJ and the offense? Well, definitely, the more weapons you have across the field, you know, teams can't zone in on, on any one person or group, you know, so, um, you know, you, you pair AJ with Julio and, and Ferkser and Chet, and then you got Derek in the back. They can't, they can't kind of lock in on, on, okay, if we take away this guy, then, then they're going to struggle, you know, so um, definitely makes your, your offense more dynamic if you can stress teams in multiple areas of the field. Brable was saying that we'll see the nudist that Arizona has in the front seven for your league Collins and Watt with tape on those guys from Arizona. You have to be responsive in game and be alert. How does that work as a quarterback? Yeah, no doubt. We'll have to uh, to see how they come out and play us. You know, there's a it's a dynamic defense. They have guys all over the place. You know, playmakers all over the place, and um, a coordinator who likes to dial it up. So uh, we'll have to. You know, make adjustments as the game goes on, just like you know any game, but kind of a unique situation with a bunch of new faces going into game one. So uh, that'll be a challenge for us early. Um, we have to be clear with our communication, and then uh, I'll be on the same page. What do you, 
thoughts on the number changes? Where, like this week, you got a linebacker wearing number nine. You have to identify the mic, et cetera. What are your thoughts on how that kind of changes that that you know identification process? Yeah, it's definitely you know time you have to spend. Uh, you know, clearly you know, knowing who's out there. You know, or in the past you kind of know. You always knew who was out there, but you know, by jersey number you could generally you know know what position a guy was going to play. So, um, you know, I've played a lot of football with with the old rules, so you know I kind of liked it the way it was. But at the same time, you know, you have to adjust and and just uh, make the changes. So you know, we know that nine's going to be moving around. They play him at safety some. They play him at linebacker. They put him on the end some. So uh, really, we know who he is. It doesn't matter if he's in nine or or uh, 48 or whatever, you know, it doesn't matter.